Welcome to Physics Essentials. In this video, we will be looking at the features of a graph, particularly this graph example that we're looking at is a simple pendulum graph. So let's get right into it. First, let us define what is a graph. Now, in physics, a graph is a visual representation of the relationship between two variables. Graphs may have different shapes based on the relationship between the variables. They may be a straight line or even a curve. Now we're going to look at the features of a typical graph in physics. Your graphs must have a title. In your title, the first variable that is mentioned is placed on the y-axis and the other variable is placed on the x-axis. For example, graph showing length versus period squared for a simple pendulum. It means that length would be the variable on the y-axis and period squared would be the variable on the x-axis. Then you would have your axis labels. Now each axis is labeled with quantity or with the quantity as well as the unit if there's any. So for example, the label that you would have on your y-axis would be length and you'll have the symbol for length, which is our L, and the unit, in this case, the SI unit is meters. You'll have the label for the x-axis, which is period squared. We denote this using a capital T, and it is squared, and the unit would be second squared. Well, these would be the labels that you would have for your y and x-axis. To actual, in addition to the actual labels of y-axis and x-axis. Then of course you would have your data points. Now your data points is the information that is usually given in a table that you will use to plot the graph. Then you would use your data points to, to decide on a scale and then use that scale to enter the plotted points on your graph. So when plotting graphs, the scale should allow for the data points to be easily plotted and the coordinates easily read. So for example, typical scale could be 2 centimeters on our y-axis representing 0 0.1 meters and 1 centimeter on our x-axis representing 0 0.2 squared seconds because that's the unit for the variable that is on that axis, period squared. So that's why the unit is second squared. Then of course we would have our best fit line. And this is simply a straight line that represents the best approximation for a given set of data. So your best fit line is the best approximation for your data points. It will show also the trend of your data points. The simplest way to draw a best fit line is by visual inspection, where you would draw your line in such a way that most of the data points fall on the line and any remainders would be evenly distributed on both sides of the line. You also have your y-intercept and this is simply where your best fit line touches or intersects your y-axis at x equals 0. The coordinate of the y-intercept is given by 0, c. So we use a c to represent the y-intercept. And this is simply where your best fit line touches or cuts or intersects your y-axis at x equals 0. Now, some additional information, the general equation for a straight line is y is equal to mx plus c, where m represents your gradient and c represents your y-intercept. So here is a typical simple pendulum graph, and you are seeing the different features. There, the title of the graph is graph showing length versus period squared. It's usually placed at the top of your graph. Then you have your scale. You want to be specific as to what is the scale for each of your axes. So on our 
y-axis you're seeing that for every two centimeters it is representing 0 0.1 meters and for your x-axis for every two centimeters it is representing 0 0.4 squared seconds so that's our scale then we have our axis labels we also have our data points and we have our best fit line now when you are plotting your graphs you would not label them as shown but it's just label they're just labeled to identify them so you would not label your graphs like this when you are plotting your graphs and you're also seeing the point of origin right there that's where, that's zero on the y-axis and zero on the x-axis and that's pretty much it the features of a typical graph in physics thank you so much for watching